How's it going everyone? I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So in this video, a person in my Discord channel, by the way, if you are not part of my Discord channel, I recommend that you join because it's just a good place to kind of ask questions if you're new to programming and want to learn. I think the link is in the description below, so definitely check it out and join. But basically, a person in my channel, I guess a subscriber, is working on a Minesweeper game in React, okay? And they asked me if I could help figure out why, or if I could explain to them why they had to add this function call here, okay? So let me show you the bug. Basically in their Minesweeper application, you click on a square, and if it's a blank square, he does some type of recursive search to basically expand the board, right? If you, if you played Minesweeper, you kind of know how that works. But he basically has handle recursive open, which is some logic that does the, I guess, the breadth first search, the depth first search to kind of expand the open cells. And what this function does is it basically returns um, an array, and set generated board is a state variable. Okay, so if I go up here, you can see that it's a use state variable. And so the question he has is like, how come when I call set generated board, the state is not updating? Let me go back down here. But I have to like change another state variable, right? So when you add this line here, set updated is equal to not updated, he basically added another state variable called updated, which is a one or a zero. I guess it becomes a Boolean. But he had to kind of like hack that in to get the board to actually refresh. So now if I do it, notice that the board kind of expands correctly. And I think this is a great lesson in React in understanding how React components actually render or re-render. So let's kind of talk about that. So if you're new to React, one thing that's really good to understand is how do components re-render themselves, okay? And the first way is basically if properties change, so the props that you pass into a component, if any of those change, it's going to basically rerun this entire function and re-render your DOM elements, okay? I guess technically behind the scenes, it does a virtual DOM, does a diff, and then that's when it would update your DOM if it notices any diffs. But yeah, if, for example, in this component structure, if rows, columns, or mines were the change, then the entire component would re-render. The second thing that you need to keep in mind is if you have any internal state, so for example, he has four state hooks here, if any of these change, then the board is going to get re-rendered as well. This, this component is going to get re-rendered. But yeah, so the issue is, he's calling set generated board, which is a state variable, right? So you think, okay, I'm calling this function down here, um, and why isn't it actually refreshing my page? Why is it not re-rendering this component? Okay, so, okay, let me, that was a nice little animation. I like that. All right, hopefully I get lucky. Okay, so if I click on this, spot, which my head might be blocking actually. Uh, okay, how about this one? So if you see here, it didn't fill out the empty cells. Um, and so the first thing you need to kind of look at is you need to understand more in depth about how state variables are set up, right? So if you have some type of an array in state, if you go in and change the elements of that array, React doesn't know to re-render. Okay? React doesn't do a deep watch on your arrays it does like a shallow watch. So you basically need to change the reference of your array to a new array so that React knows it needs to re-render. So if I navigate to where this function is declared, I guess it's here, he's doing a lot of code and he's basically taking a board object, he is modifying that board object, and then at the very end he returns the board, okay? So he's not returning a new copy of an array, he's returning the exact same array. So React looks at this and says, I don't know what to do with this because it's the same reference to an array, okay? So a quick fix for this is what he could do is he could take this object, which happens to be an array, and he could basically do the spread operator and put it inside of a new array. Okay, so now that fixes the issue. Whenever I click on a blank cell, it's going to fill out the board. So if you don't know what this is, I definitely recommend you take a step back from React and learn about ES6 features. This can basically take an array, take all the elements and put them into a new array, right? So this whole thing is a new array, right? It's a new reference to an array, but happens to have all the exact same values of the old array, okay? So new array, new reference with the old values. And when React sees that it's a new uh, reference to an array, it's going to re-render your component. Okay, so it's gonna rerun all these functions and basically spit back your JSX and that's how you can see that it updates. All right, and so that was a bug with using arrays and not actually telling React, hey, this is a new array. I think the same idea applies to objects as well. Like you can't just 
have a state variable called, I don't know, my board object, and you can't just go in and change a property. You actually need to call the set board method, and then you need to pass it a new reference to an object, I believe. So to kind of expand upon that point I made about objects having to be new references. So here's a short little code snippet where I use the use state hook. I make an object that has the proper name set to hello, and I render out a button using that. Okay, so you see here I have a button. When you click it, it's going to call this function, but it's rendering out object.name. So notice that when I click this, I, although I am calling set object and I do change object.name to Bob, notice that when I click it, nothing actually changes. Okay, and so this is also because you need to make sure you pass a new reference to an object. You can't just update an object and then call set object with that same object. You need to either make a new object, so I can say const in for new object, and I can say name is Bob, and then I could set the object like that. Let me refresh the page. So when I click it, notice that it becomes Bob, and that's how you correctly do it in React. Or what we typically see in the examples in the docs is you need to do a thread operator on the object, and I could change the name to like Bobby or something. Let me save this, I'll click on it, see that it changes right when I click it in the component re render. So these are kind of really important to understand the state hooks and how it actually forces your React component to re render when you pass in a new reference to an object or a new reference to an array. So my advice to the original person who asked this question, because I don't remember who he was, I would definitely take a step back and make sure you read the React documentation about how stuff is rendered, like React docs re-render. Maybe you can read this, Reconciliation. That might give you a good overview. It might be a little bit in depth, but I think there's also like a life cycle chart or diagram. All right, so even taking some time and looking at like a diagram like this, you can pretty much figure out when React components re-render themselves. It's whenever new props come in, whenever a set state function is called. And I think, I do believe that the actual value has to be something different. Um, for that example that we just saw with the array, you can't just change the array and then pass the same reference to an array. And then also there's a force update. I haven't used that one before. Um, you might wanna look into that. I'm not sure if that's for something with like the old class approach to React components or if that's a functional method that you can use like a functional hook. All right, so this is something else you might wanna look into. There is a way to basically do a force update on your React component. I haven't done this before. I would recommend that you just do what I kind of showed you. But it says in the first line here, both use state and use reducer hooks bail out of updates if the next value is the same as the previous one. Okay, so I think you happen to be passing the exact same array into your state and it doesn't know what to do with that. So it just bails out. So I definitely recommend that you look into this. And I would say just read more of the documentation. Make sure you have a, a more solid understanding of how React works because I'm sure you spent a lot of time trying to figure out why this wasn't actually showing. And what happens is you end up adding in hacks such as this, no offense, but it's because you didn't fully understand how React is working beneath the hood. And so you start adding hacks into the library to get it to work because you don't truly understand how it does things, okay? So if you're new, I would definitely recommend reading through the docs and get a more solid understanding. I'm not saying like you have to fully understand all this stuff, but, um, Maybe just the life cycle events and how stuff gets re-rendered, especially if you run into an issue like that. All right, I hope this little video was helpful uh, for anyone trying to learn to react. If you like this video, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below if you have any suggestions or comments about this approach. And like always, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button because I'm going to have videos like this in the future that can hopefully improve your knowledge in web development, in React, and JavaScript, etc. All right, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Happy coding.